Corey, General Manager of Kurzweil Education, and with us is Carol Neese, who is a rep uh, for several straight states and is going to be presenting on note taking and study tips. So with that, uh, let's get started, Carol. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. All right. What we're going to do today is cover how a student can take advantage of the Kurzweil 3000 for studying, how to enhance their, their learning and their reading comprehension. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a book from the file. I'm in the Kurzweil 3000. And I'm going to open up a sociology book. And we're going to look for a certain page. There's a thumbnail view here that really uh, serves you well if, if you're going to go quickly to a certain page. I'm going to go to something that I prepared for this morning. Okay, this is a um, study on the different uh, philosophers. So here we've got Karl Marx and we're studying. Uh, we're going to put together a, an outline that shows you some of the features of both of these uh, individuals. So I've highlighted Karl Marx and some um, you know, important things about him and his life in green, and then we've got Dubois, and I've highlighted in orange some of the facts for him. So it's in two different pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract that so you can take a look at what that would look like. And what I did is I just got a highlighter and you just, you know, drag and drop and the highlighter is this little icon here as you can see you have several colors and you can use different um, themes for each of your colored highlighters i'm going to go to the last little icon here extract notes and highlights. click on that i'm going to say okay now it's a, taking that into an outline format and as you can see, it picked up the colors. And now I'm able to study, use this as a study guide, and I just have the important facts to get me started. As you can see, it also lets me know what pages I took my uh, notes from and if I have any sticky notes, and I'm going to cover that right now. So this is going to enable you to use it a couple of ways as a study guide to refresh and also to write important facts so you can uh, hang on to those for later when you're trying to prepare your paper. And Denise referred to how you might do that in a previous webinar, and you can find those on our YouTube link. So I'm gonna go back to the book. So we took our highlighters, which are located here in the left panel, and highlighted using the yellow, as the main as the main characters and then the green facts about that individual and then I use the orange because there's a second individual now I'm going to uh, extract those highlights you go across the panel to the orange square here with the arrow and as you can see when you hover it says extract notes and highlights click on that Hit OK when you get this screen that's asking you if you want to extract your notes. And as we wait for it, here you can see it extracted the information and kept my colors. So now when I want to do a study guide, I have the important facts for these individuals. And I can also save this by going here to save document. I can save, save it to the Google Drive. And for later use, I might use this as I'm preparing the paper. And uh, Denise gave us some examples of how to write. And those video, that video is posted in our YouTube, Kurzweil YouTube. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the book and I go up here, this is the main menu. To go back to my book, I'm gonna to go to Recent Files, 
and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to look for the book that I was reading, which is Sociology. Click on that. Now I'm going to show you another way to take notes. I have some sticky notes here. And I'm going to show you how you can do those. You go over here to this little paper with the thumbtack. Those are your notes. You click on that. And you have the ability to put sticky notes on your paper. Or text notes. I'm going to demonstrate the sticky note first. You click on it. Now you can place it where you want. Click again. And now you have a sticky note where you can type important information. So you might say that there's a test on Friday in this sticky note. You can move it. You can also expand the note. So if you had lots of information, you could do that as well. You just get on the, the corners and then just expand. You can also use your speech to text in your sticky note. So you've got your sticky note up then you go up here to the top and there's this little bubble with the three little uh, dots in it. That's your speech to text button. When we engage it, it's going to turn green and I'm going to be able to speak and it's going to um, follow me along. So I'll demonstrate that now. I would like this text to be one of my favorite. So you can, then you, you click on it to disengage it and then you can delete so you, do, you click on it again, and then it turns white so you know it's off. When you're ready to speak again, you click on it. I'm going to show you how you can also delete your sticky note. We're going to go back to the note, and we're going to hit this red box with the X in it. This, help, this allows us to delete a note we no longer want. So we go to the note and just click on it, and the note disappears. To put this back to, um, we can either hit escape, or we can just go back and toggle to the notes. But when you want, when you're finished with one of the tools, whether it be the highlighter, the sticky note, you can hit escape so that you can move on to the next thing that you want to do. So that's your sticky note. So you have highlighting, extracting to, um, to an outline, extracting your highlights, and then you can also do your sticky notes. And when we extract, I want to show you that your sticky notes also come with you. Oops. And we go back to the highlighter extract the orange box with the arrow and I'm going to say OK and here at the top you can see sticky note one important facts to remember and then my sticky note number two so you have a way of capturing your own thoughts and ideas as you're studying. And you also have um, some writing supports too. You've got your dictionary here, this little book, there's references, and there's going to be videos on how to use those as well, but I just wanted to point it out to you. All right, um, so now we're going to go back to the book, and remember we went up here to this main menu, recent files and we're going to go to the book that's how you return to a previous page i wanted to share that with you 
Now what we're going to do, I wanted to show you some notes that have already been prepared. So I'm going to go to my Universal Library. And we're going to go to my public folder. And we're going to go to biology. So here's the biology book. And you can go to the view, this little paper with the magnifying glass. That allows you to take a look at the thumbnail view, rotate your pages if you want to print the page, if you're interested in changing the color. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take you to um, some other notes that we created. Now here, what I wanted to demonstrate to you is that there's another feature that's very effective and it's a real great support tool for studying. It's our bookmarks. So bookmarks allow you to go to a page quickly, identify important information and go to it quickly. And it's gonna be a time saver. It's another way that you can study effectively. So if I go to my bookmarks, as you can see, I've already put some together. It's that little red tab with a, like a scroll. I've got a chapter one bookmark already prepared. I decided that I wanted to um, bookmark properties of life because that's a, I have a paper due on that. And I've got my chapter two. So in order to go to one of these um, things that are important that I need to be studying, all I do is uh, click on it go to it quickly found the periodic table of elements that I had already put together now the way you create a bookmark is you go to your bookmark tab and we can add one so let's go to a different page so we can add one let's go here And this is how we page backward or forward. So chemical reactions, hmm, that sounds like a good, good one. I'm going to have a test on that. So I'm going to add that bookmark. So here I'm going to write chemical reactions. And then over to the right, there's an add button. So I'm going to click add. I have just added this bookmark. So now when I go to my bookmarks, you can see that chemical reactions is now one of the places I can quickly go to. So this is gonna help you um, identify information and you can still highlight in your bookmark pages if you'd like, if that's something you wanna do as well. But it's a great way for students or anybody to you know, bookmark something and go there quickly, saving you a lot of time and helping you organize your work. And you can ask it to alphabetize the reading order, or you can look like it's gonna reading order now because it's chapter one, and it's going by pages, if you'll notice over here. Reading order goes by page. If I was to alphabetize it, it's gonna change that. And I would just click here. And that might be important to me because I'm going by topics. So you could see it changed the reading order and alphabetized everything. So I want to go back to properties of life. Go to, and I'm back. And you can see all the tools are still available, your highlighters. You can still put sticky notes in here if you want it, and text notes. And let me show you what the text note does. You click on it just like the sticky note and you take your cursor, place it where you want. And I might speak into it. I'm going to put my thoughts in this into this text note. And then I can expand that. 
So as you're reading along, you might have uh, some ideas or maybe some questions. So you can add text notes, you can add sticky notes, and this also you can move, elongate. If you want to get rid of it or hide it, you go back to notes and the red box again, we click on it and click on our note and it's gone. To put it back or get to cursor free, you just hit escape and you notice that that goes away. Now it can use any of the other tools. When I exit this book, in order to save everything, I want to make sure that I can save uh, my annotations, excuse me, all the work that you've done. You want to make sure that when you come back to it later, that you have all of your highlights, your bookmarks, and your sticky notes, any type of note preserved for the next time. So here is our saved document. The first one is saved document goes to the Universal Library. And the other one, the green one, saves it to your Google Drive. So you've got a couple of options and where you want to save it. So when we save document, it gives us this message. The document has been saved. We hit OK. And now we can go to the Universal Library and perhaps start another book, look at something different, but that book has been saved under biology with all of my annotations. All right, thanks for everyone. Thank you. Thank you all. Be safe, be well.